Hi everybody, welcome back to Project Happy Home. For those of you who are new here, I'm Tanya, a doctor, a lawyer, turned homeschooling mom of three kids ages eight, five, and three. I am super excited about today's unboxing. It is the Family Reading Crate, the February box, um, and it was sent to me by Emily over at Build Your Library, and I honestly think she sent it to me out of pity because she knows from my Instagram posts that all my books have been boxed up and I haven't been able to unpack them because I'm waiting to paint the walls and then put up bookshelves, yada, 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 and it's just depressing me entirely. So now I have new books to read. <laughs> And I'm super excited and I told my husband it wasn't even my fault because Emily sent me them and I just you know it wasn't it was out of my control but so I'm opening it for the first time and this is the box you guys the theme for the month of February is birds which is actually perfect for my family because of course my husband's a falconer and right now we don't have one and he's also feeling sad so I can give him this but um, you can see here there's a adorable little plushie and it's actually super cute it's a a cute little little um, macaw or parrot type thing and it's adorable and so there will be some fighting over this I'll have to figure out how I give this to the children but I'll probably give it to my husband and then he can deal with that competition so right inside the box you'll find this little curriculum guide booklet and I think this is an invaluable part of this crate Emily's amazing at creating unit studies and designing a reading plan in a way to go around one theme so right here it says uh, the different books that are included, the month's theme, and there's five books in this crate, apparently. So there's The Desperate Adventures of Zeno and Alia, Arrowhawk, uh, The United Tweets of America, 50 State Birds and Their Stories, Their Glories, and like Water on Stone, and The Atomic Weight of Love. And that's awesome. And there's actually a website link that you can go to for additional printables, helpful links, and hyperlist, hyperlinked book lists also. So that is awesome. And next month, apparently, it's Goblins Magic Fantasy. Oh my. Oh man. I'm totally getting this. I don't care if my bookshelves haven't been set up yet. This is ridiculous. And I told Emily, I'm definitely getting this. You're the biggest motivation I have for putting on my bookshelves. But then she sent me a box anyway, which I so appreciate. Um, there are discussion questions included in this booklet, which I think is wonderful because sometimes it's a little bit hard to come up with them on the spot, at least for me. So each of the books has little questions and then what makes paper airplanes or foam birds fly, um, a little section on aerodynamics, a little science section on drag and gravity, thrust and lift, um, and then how to like make the foam birds better flyers, I think. That's awesome. And then she has her own personal review of the adult story, which is, which is really cool. So this is the little booklet. You also get some of these bookmarks. Oh, this is awesome. Red-tailed hawks. Yeah, actually, seven of our birds have been red-tailed hawks, and then one of them was a, um, what was it? A kestrel. So we are very familiar with red-tailed hawks. And then on the back, there's an African gray parrot. And there's two of those, which is perfect for my two little readers. And then another one, I love books in many different languages, so that's awesome. Here's The Desperate Adventures of Zeno and Alia with Friendship Comes Hope. An orphaned African gray parrot who can speak 127 words, a girl so sick she has forgotten what it means to try fate, and a banana nut muffin bring them together. Will their shared encounter help them through storms inside and out? Will they lose their way or will they find what really matters? Here is a story that will remind readers how navigating so many of life's desperate adventures requires friendship and above all hope. Um, so this looks really exciting. I love the cover on this one. I think it's so beautiful, this type of illustration. And it has this really soft texture too. So I'm excited to read that with them. Here's the atomic weight of love. I think this will be probably for me. It shows the impossible choices women face and still face between family and self. Yeah, I think this one will definitely be up my alley since that's like the point of all my self-help videos. Um, this is about a 17-year-old in the fall of 1941 when she begins her ornithology studies at the University of Chicago. Um, once there, she becomes captivated by a brilliant, complicated physicist and eventually follows him when he is asked to work on a secret wartime project in Los Alamos. As the years go by, 
Uh, she adrift in a traditional marriage, her own sense of purpose and passion lost, channels her scientific ambition into the study of a family of crows, birds whose free life and companionship are the very things beyond her reach. But when she meets a young geologist, a veteran of the Vietnam War, she's awakened to changes and choices she never thought possible. Well, that sounds exciting. So this looks good. And honestly, it's funny, whenever I buy a book, I always flip through it for the feel of the flipping. And this one has really good flipping feel. Our next book is Like Water on Stone, and this is a hardback book and beautiful. I love the descriptions here. Um, it says up here, as wrenching as it is evocative and hopeful. It is about 1914 in the Ottoman Empire. It is about Armenia, I believe, and Turks and Kurds, and I guess the whole um, Armenian genocide, perhaps. Uh, this is very interesting. Let's see. Oh, it's a book of poems. So is it a story in poems? Wow. I think it is. I think it's like a story in verse. Oh, that's beautiful. The author is a granddaughter of the survivors of the Armenian Genocide of 1915. And she is an anthropologist. That's gorgeous. Okay, I'm super excited to read that as well. And I believe this is the older, um, sort of your teen reader selection. And I don't have a teen yet, so I'm going to be able to enjoy it myself. But since it is in verse, I think if I find some beautiful places, it might be really good for copy work, too. Before I get to these, let me pick out our other books. There they are, right in the bottom there. These two. Let's see. So there's Arrowhawk. My husband's gonna love these. I so love that this is our book selection that, that we got this month because, I mean, my husband is a true falconer and, and sometimes the children's books that he reads aloud to them aren't the most entertaining for him. But oh, he will love this. Look at how beautiful. Oh, he might keep this for himself actually. This is gorgeous. I think it's from the perspective of the hawk um, who's being rehabbed. See, I think he's injured and then being rehabbed which is actually something my husband wants to get into. Uh, unfortunately, I just realized that our next door neighbor has a, um, a bad hawk story. Apparently a hawk uh, killed his little dog. And so I don't think he's gonna be super pleased with our falconry, but we'll see how that goes. Um, in any case, here's the United Tweets of America, 50 State Birds. Oh, this is so great. So it has every state and the state bird and then more information about them. Oh, that's so great. So it talks about the state as well as the bird. And it talks about like famous people from the state. Ah, Mississippi is the mockingbird and <laughs> it's dressed up like Elvis. That's so great. So there's New York. Oh, here's North Carolina, the Northern Cardinal. We should learn this. And the state dog is the plot hound. I didn't even know states had dogs. Huh. So... That's cool. By a family named Plot in the 1700s. This is so interesting. The best part about homeschooling is how much you learn as you're trying to teach your kids things. So, the United Tweets of America. This looks like a great book and I've never heard of it. This is another thing I love about Emily and Build Your Library in general is that she chooses classics from my childhood that I love, but she also chooses books that I've never heard of and um, I don't hear talked about in too many other places. And so, I feel like we get a really well-rounded um, reading experience with her selections. And then there's two gliders in here as well. So it's a carrier pigeon and a jaybird. And these are made of waterproof styrofoam. That's so cute. I'm gonna try to find some more of these so that I can um, make sure that the third baby has one too, but this is awesome. So you have the glider activity, you have the science explanations for it in the little booklet, and you have five books to read to your kids, and I am just so thrilled with this box. I think it is going to be super fun, and I'm definitely gonna get it every single month because this is like really doable for me. I can read these books, and I'll know that we have a read aloud that sort of ties in with an activity already, and I'm just super excited for this, and I cannot recommend it highly enough. I will do another video later just explaining um, how I like the books, if I thought that it was worthwhile. I think that most of what Emily does is amazing and just super well thought out and 
I am so impressed with her reading selections in general. So I actually love the contents of this box. I am super impressed with Emily's choices as usual, and I can't wait to get started. I'm definitely going to be ordering the crates again and just making it a regular part of our life experience and our home because I think it's wonderful to be sort of on the same wavelength as your kids. So as you're reading a read aloud and studying a topic like birds, you can also sort of immerse yourself in it in an adult fashion as well. So I love the concept. I love the idea. Thank you so much, Emily, for sending this box to me. I so appreciate it. It has completely relieved my depression about not having my books on hand. And I will link Build Your Library down below and above so that you guys can go head on over and get your own family reading crate for the month of March. I believe the February ones are sold out, though I'm not sure. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. As always, happy reading. I am super excited about this box. <laughs> I know I sound like a total dork, but I haven't had my books and I've been sad. And now I'm not sad. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time.